Simple DJ Life, DJ Books here. This video is just a quick tip on using the Donner Wireless DMX receivers with the ADJ Airstream Bridge interface. I learned this tip the other day off the Facebook ADJ Airstream Bridge group. Big shout out to Jared Park and Ken, I think it's Yipperilla, Yipperilla. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Big shout out to Arnaldo Offerman, who's the man. Make sure you can check out his channel, Gear First, and everybody else who's a part of that Facebook group. I wanna thank you. But today we're gonna to show you the best way to use your Donners with the ADJ Bridge to get you up and running without any dropouts. So first off, the ADJ Bridge is a Wi-Fi enabled box that you use with the accompanying iOS app. The app syncs to the interface through Wi-Fi and you can control your lights with the app through the DMX protocol. Now the Donners are popular wireless DMX dongles that also allow you to transmit DMX wirelessly. Wait, why would I need both DJ books if they both do the same thing? Well, the Airstream bridge transmits the DMX signal wirelessly from the app to the ADJ interface box, but you still need a DMX cable to go from the box to the first light in your DMX chain. The Donners, however, allow you to not need a DMX cable because the wireless transmitter attaches to the DMX out in the ADJ box and the receiver attaches to the first light in your DMX chain. Or the receiver can attach to a light all the way across the room and receive the DMX signal without a DMX cable. Still confused? Good. <laughs> nah, it's pretty simple. But if you have any questions, there is an excellent tutorial on the ADJ Airstream Bridge by Joe, J-L-D-J-U-K. Here's the link right here somewhere. And then there's another one by Arnaldo Offman, and here's the link here too. Here is an unboxing and review of the Donners by DJ to go. So now, since you have a little bit of information, here's the tip. People who are using the Airstream Bridge and the Donners together are having issues with connectivity since they both basically rely on a Wi-Fi signal to transmit information, digital information that is. This will give people connection problems because either either or wouldn't be able to connect for some reason if people were having dropouts. So what I learned from the group is that there's a method to the madness. First, you should power up the Airstream Bridge. Then you connect your iPad to the Wi-Fi signal coming from the Airstream bridge. Then you power up your Donner DMX transmitter by plugging it in. Lastly, you turn on the receivers then connect those to the transmitter. If you follow this pattern, whenever you set them up, you shouldn't have any problems. Now, this is not a total solution because when you're dealing with Wi-Fi signal, there could be unknowns that interfere with the transmissions, such as people, other Wi-Fi signals, cell phones, etc. But this seems like the best way to keep your signals joins and not experience any dropouts or connection to issues. Keep those lights going and keep that party flowing. Any questions or concerns, hit us up in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We post content weekly just for you. DJ Books, Simple DJ Life, peace.